The making of a champion part two. Amen. Go get your milk and honey. Saints, at this time we're going to pray over the time and offering the prayer request. Oh, I love Yahweh. I love all of you. But I fear disobeying him more than anything. Saints, I want to say something. <coughs> if any of you feel as if you're doing this ministry a favor in any way, just stop it. Hallelujah, yes. because we don't need your favor, favor because we have the power of God. Hallelujah. Yes. This ministry, we are not waiting for anyone to hook up with us so we can become the great people that Yahweh called us to become. Hallelujah. We don't need anyone to hook up with us. We already have the word. And we're very bold with the word that we have. And this is the word that Yahweh called us to be the head of the body. We have an apostolic anointing and we do not apologize to you. We have an anointing to ordain and set in order. If I can talk about racism in this church, then I can talk about racism in another church. Judgment starts first in the house of Yah. Are you listening to me, saints? Judgment starts first in the house of Yah. And this is where the judgment begins. Hallelujah. This is where we'll move forward. Amen. Amen. This time I'm going to pray with the time off of the prayer request. Pick up those points. Before you can go and get your promise, you must already view yourself as a champion. Before you go and get what Yahweh has promised you, you've got to view yourself as a champion. Are right, you listening to me, saints? Amen. Saints, in the name of Yahshua, in this ministry we know that Yahweh has called us. In this ministry we know we've been called by his name. And we know that we're bringing worldwide change. But before you can go and get your promise, you must view yourself as a champion. You must know that you are a champion. Amen. So you must know the ingredients it takes in order to build and to make a champion. The Bible is very explicit that in order to make a champion, you need dust, you need sin, and you need the blood of Christ. Amen. You cannot be a champion in Christ without having dust, without having sin, and without having the blood. The devil and your enemies always want to remind you of your dirt and your sin. But you need your dirt and you need your sin in order to be a champion in Christ. If you had no dirt, and if you had no sin, it means he didn't die for you. And if he did not die for you, you would not have access to the throne, to the power, and to the authority of Yahweh. Saints, in the name of Yahshua, we must understand, regardless of your beginning, be sure of your finish. Regardless of your beginning, regardless of your middle, be sure, be certain of your finish. Be certain of what the Heavenly Father has called you to do and what he has ordained you to do. Isaiah, actually pronounced Yeshua, every name has a meaning. Proverbs 22, verse 1 says, It is better to give a good name than to have much riches. Yes. So every prophet in the Bible has a spiritually given name. The name Yeshua means salvation of Yahweh. It is the Messiah's name backwards. Hallelujah. Once again, I encourage everyone, everyone to get a study Bible. I don't care who was made by. This is how you check a study Bible. When you go into the bookstore to buy a Bible, turn to Exodus chapter 3, not now, verse 15, 
and make sure it has in the footnote that the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Come on, Samson, teach me how to get a good study Bible. Hallelujah. That right there is the first sign that it's a good study Bible. Because every good study Bible is going to have the name of Yahweh in it, even though it might be a footnote. Are you listening to me, Saint? Hallelujah. Um, <clears throat> but there was a Bible that uh, the Pentecostal ministers came together called the Spiritual Field Bible. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Uh, Pat Robertson, Frederick K. Price. Hallelujah. It's by Nelson. Hallelujah. It still should be in print. But in that Bible, when you go to Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, it talks about the name Jesus. It clearly says that his actual name is Yahshua, which means Yahweh's salvation. That's a good study Bible. Hallelujah. The problem is that the name of the Heavenly Father shouldn't be a footnote when he wrote the book. Amen. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. But saints, in the name of Yahshua, we must understand that the Heavenly Father has called each and every one of you to be a champion. And the devil always wants to remind you of your dirt. The devil always wants to remind you of your sin. Hallelujah. But you have to remind the devil of the blood. It's the blood of Christ. Christ is not an English word. It's a Greek word. Christos. It means the spirit to know it. It is the blood of Christ hallelujah, that makes you saved. It is the blood of Christ that makes you unique. It is the blood of Christ that makes you a champion. It is the blood of Christ that makes you great. The word says, I can do all things through Yahshua who strengthens me. The word says, we're more than conquerors in Yahshua. Amen? Amen. The word says, whatever I put my hands to, it shall prosper. Amen. Saints, in the name of Yahshua, you must view yourself as a champion before you go and take your promise. Is everyone listening? Yes. Because before you go and take your promise, you always go through a wilderness period. Are you listening? Hallelujah. Saints, you always go through a wilderness period before you get your promise. And the wilderness period is where you meet the Heavenly Father. Are you listening to me, saints? It's where you get the fullness of the plan because the wilderness always represents preparation for the promise. Come on, saints. There's a teaching ministry. So, saints, recognize where you are in the name of Yahshua. Hallelujah. A great deal of us in the name of Yahshua, we're in our wilderness. But the wilderness is only temporary. The good thing about the wilderness is you're one-on-one -on -one with the Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Because in the wilderness, you get the fullness of the word. How you get the strength so that you can go and take your milk and honey. Because the Heavenly Father has promised you a land full of milk and honey. And once again, that promise hallelujah, is what he has designated for you to receive. But saints, when you view yourself as a champion, you're not afraid of the challenge. Whenever you are afraid of the challenge, it means that you are fearing the opposition. But when you know that you are a true champion in Christ, you don't fear the, uh, the competition. You don't fear what's coming to you because hallelujah, he's not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Are you hearing the word, saints? Hallelujah. So I want you to clearly hear as we read. I'm going to go over a few scriptures.